hey you guys welcome back so this is going to be a quick video on how i get my switches and things like that um from my harmony hub into my remote view like this so hopefully you can hear my tv in the background start to play and in this tutorial i'm going to show you so that was my tv just playing right there and this is my sono setup if you're wondering why it looks off it's because this is the computer that i used to edit and not what i actually used to view these on so these views are set to look good on tablets um but let's hop into it the first thing i did in vs code was set up my harmony hub remote so obviously this is not weather predictions that was there for something else but um there we go remote platform harmony the name i wanted to go by and my host and um i think i had to restart my configuration and then it gave me these harmony hub files over here um i think i deleted it and then had to put it in again so it just created a second file but it's the exact same thing in both files um from there the first thing that configuration does is give you your activities like your um power off or my listener sonos just different activities that i've made in my harmony um configuration on my actual app and the remote <clears throat> and then we go through the devices i have so my amazon fire tv and all that the uh tv in my son's room with that my climate control for my um fans living room which is just my sonos here and then the living room tv so this is how i've built my controls i'll hop over into the developer options on home assistant and then we do the services the send uh the remote send command and then from here it'll give you options on um, like your harmony hub remote of uh, the roku remote then you do the device which is still going to be the name of that remote i mean your entity id which is going to be the name of that remote your device comes from the id so at the end of my living room tv got my device id right here just copy that go ahead and paste it in and then the command so for your commands it's literally going to be any of these things that you have listed right here under commands is an option for you to send in and that is super cool to me so see if i wanted to mute or volume up or down or um even hop into the settings here switch hdmi ports any of that and let's see in my bedroom i have some kind of a roku tv set up in there and that one like even gives me access to a couple of the apps that they have in there so that's awesome netflix um voodoo so this is one really good way to figure out what you can um control so then you can hop back over here put it into your command hit call service and it should control whatever it is that you're looking to control so for me in my setups let's hop into i think one of my longest views ever is going to be my living room view which i really need to go through and kind of clean up but here we go in my tv settings this all falls under a conditional card so they're all image cards for my remote, let's hop into the living room. Let's hop back over to TV. So, this is what we're looking at right here this stop button, little square. So, media control stop, it's an image card. 
and that's the location for the image I just I just prefer to download my images straight onto um, my files and link them straight to there instead of using um, MDI icon I take the images from there copy them and put them into onto my actual SD card give it a title so when I hover over it the right name pops up and then this tap action is where you do your call service the entity ID you're sending a command and what are you sending you're sending command stop to this device and boom all set up it should pop up of course I styled it a bit so gave it the location the width that I wanted and here it is right here working I can play I can stop um, over here I have like my direction up and downs and left to right my volume controls my off and on button right here and of course my whole setting changes when I just toggle over um, to control the Sonos that's in the living room <clears throat> but yeah if you're looking for a way to um, actively use your Harmony Hub in Home Assistant this is a great way to get started one of the other cool things that you can do is create a script so you can actually go ahead and create a script that let's say when your TV turns on um, the first thing it does is press the home button and then in sequence the next thing it does is let's see so let's say the first thing it does is press the home button to get you back to your one home location and then the next thing it does is go direction right direction right and then select and it'll select whatever app you have sitting in that spot and then you can name that sequence like YouTube if it were to select the YouTube app and from there after it selects YouTube um, it'll pop it up and boom there you are on YouTube um, <clears throat> on your TV from your Harmony Hub and all you did was press one button because you've already created that sequence but if you guys have uh, any other cool ideas about how to use Harmony Hub in your Home Assistant configuration, let me know. This is by far the uh, smartest that I am and the best option that I had to come up with. Um, it took me a while to figure out how to control the Harmony Hub through Home Assistant. And so I just wanted to help out someone else. But here we go and um, if you'll actually look inside the docu documents if you scroll through it'll tell you you know what you need to put in your configuration diameter you can do um, like your activities delays and all that all that stuff's great um, let's see let's see let's see boom right here so you can create automations to where when you come home it'll you know do a remote turn on of your TV just a whole bunch of different things that are really really cool especially depending on what you have connected into your um into your harmony hub and of course you can create different sensors it's just just a whole lot of uh, good things going on and what's super cool about it is that you can just buy if I'm not mistaken just buy the actual hub and not buy any of the remotes and set this up and your whole setup gets a whole lot cheaper um, the only downside is Harmony Hub has try to remove their service um, from being accessible by their users and I really don't like that they've tried to make their service exclusive where you can just access it through them and not through um, a third-party integration like home assistant and 
as much as I love how my um, house is set up right now and love what I'm able to do with Home Assistant, that'd be a deal breaker for me. I'd remove all these Harmony Hubs out of my house and I'd sell them to someone else or chuck them in the trash. So um, if anybody from Harmony or Logitech ever ends up watching this video, there's, that's one thing I want you to know. If you mess with my ability to uh, integrate with something like Home Assistant, then you for sure lost a customer and you've lost any referrals that I'll ever do. Um, it's very important to me to be able to control the things that I buy. So if I buy it and something's available when I buy it, then it's very important to me that that something be available for the entire use of the product until the product breaks on its own or something like that. Um, but yeah, just another quick little video on another integration of Home Assistant that makes this whole project super awesome. So tell me if you guys have any other uh, videos you want to see. And once again, if you have any other cool um, Harmony Hub remote, Logitech remote integrations, drop some comments down below, hop in the forums, and uh, let us see whichever you, what you have. Thank you.